Hey tech friends, welcome once again back to Tech of Tomorrow. We're bringing you all the tech all the time. Now, check it out. Just a few weeks ago, we saw Sapphire release their version of the HD 7950 geared for the Mac Pro and for Hackintoshes. Now, in a counter move, just like NVIDIA to do, they got to have something bigger. They've pulled out their own Mac Edition card, and we have that sitting here right in front of us. Now, this card got launched this morning, and this is the new EVGA Mac Edition GeForce GTX 680. Now check it out, over in the bottom over here, we can see clearly it's got the Mac logo right there. Now you're gonna notice that this card cost a hundred dollars more than a standard card. You guys wanna know why? You see this little logo over here? That's why. For that logo alone, I'm sure EVGA is having to pay the people at Mac a hundred bucks. So we'll go over here, you guys can clearly see it's the EVGA Mac Edition. Over here is the GeForce GTX 680. Now, there are some requirements to the card. I'm going to pull the card right here. You guys can see Mac Pro early 2008 or later. Models Mac Pro 3.1 or later with PCI Express 2.0 slot. Mac OS version 10.8.3 or later. Also works with Microsoft Windows 8, Windows 7, Vista, and all that stuff. So you could build one of those things and you can also use Apple's boot camp. So you can either make a dual boot system or build a boot camp system and this card will work just perfectly. We'll flip it around the back of the box. It has all of the same features and a little bit more than your standard card being at the Mac Edition. It also has an EFI BIOS. This thing also has your standard 1536 CUDA cores, most of the basic features of the card. Up here, the camera can just zoom in very close over here. You guys can see this. We'll bring this out here. NVIDIA GPU boost. So that supports the boost of the clock. That means when the card is running and it needs a particular boost, the card will actually increase itself, making the card run faster. Has their CUDA technology, PCI like we talked about, OpenGL 3.2, OpenCL support, and it has all the stuff that's in the box. So we might as well take a look here real closely. You guys can see this. This is all the stuff that we're going to get to in just a second. Their I.O. features a display port, HDMI, DVI-I, and DVI-D. So let's go ahead now, and let's we'll talk a couple more things in the back here. EVJ has its warranty, and also 24-7 support, and that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and take the trusty little thing here, and let's begin the unboxing. And go ahead and take this up here, make a cut in here. We'll go ahead and just peel all this stuff off. The cameraman, he has prepared himself, and so this will be thrown at the cameraman at high velocity, but I missed. Missed him by that much. All right, folks, so let's go ahead. Also, once again, we see the box is sealed by the EVGA little thing right here. Let me go ahead and make a little slice right here. Pop the cap. All right, and I see there's stuff in here that's gonna come flying out, so I'll just go ahead and get that down. Shake that, make sure there's nothing there. Once again, I throw at the cameraman. Oh, all right, it's like the wild west around here. All right. So, starting off, we have this book. Let's get it up here. EVGA GTX 680 graphics card for Apple Mac Pro installation guide. Hopefully it will come with all the proper cables. Because basically there are two cables that you need to use to hook up. So let's go ahead. We see a big EVGA logo thing here. Once again, at the cameraman. Woo! Oh, almost got him. All right, accessories pack. They're all inside of these things right here. And yes, here are the two cables inside this bag. They're the two cables that you are going to need to do the installation. Very, very important. And also very, very easy. We have the DVI to VGA little adapter inside here. And we got this right here. We have a standard display port to main display port. That's kind of important for those people for the Mac, obviously. You're going to want to have the main display port because most of those Mac monitors have that, and that's what's inside of here. Then, last but not least, we have the card itself completely sealed from the factory. We'll go ahead and uh, take this. I'll be nice this time and not throw at the cameraman. He's giving me that dirty look again. Means enough throwing at him. All right. We get your message, man. I hear you. Let's go ahead and just remove this. Now the seal, I'm going to have to break it right here. So kaboom, we're breaking the seal and de-virginizing the card. Oh my, oh my. 
And for those who are concerned, yes, I did ground myself out before taking the card and touching the card. Some people ask that. Now, take the card right here. I'm going to go ahead and we'll just let the cameraman zoom in right here to the rear I.O. DVID, DVII, standard HDMI, standard display port. We got these little cat thingies. Just pull those out of there real quick. You guys can see those right there. Easy money. Set those off to the side real quick. You guys can also see the card. Two slot design. Down here on the bottom of the card, we see the PCIe 3.0 interface. Let me set the card back down. Let's see how big the card is, shall we? Got the measuring tape out. The card is sizing it at exactly 10 inches. Now, as far as the height of the card goes, inside your system, we'll see the card is four inches in height. And as far as the thickness of the card, the card is one and a half inches thick. It's kind of hard to see because my thumb, I'll try to move my thumb out of the way, but one and a half inches is the thickness of the card. Let me just go ahead and set that down. Let's go ahead and remove a little bit of this plastic. Now you guys can see a closer look of the card. I'll just have the cameraman zoom in here real quick and we'll take a little stroll just across the card so you can see it. Now you guys can see it's got a plastic shroud encompassing the entire card and we also see the blower type fan here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the card onto its side. On the side, we clearly see the GeForce GTX logo, EVGA. Here are the two six pin power connectors. Those are for those cables that are right in here. You're going to want to plug those into here and then right directly into your Mac or your PC will have it on its power supply. You guys all know that. Also, while we're on the top here, let me remove this little rubber thing right here. And I'll move the card to the back where we can clearly see there are two SLI fingers right there. Now that we also have the card in the back, I'll set it down. You guys can clearly see that the PCB is completely black in color. And this is also a pretty reference design card. So if you're trying to look for putting a water cooler or anything else, if you want to go all crazy as hell on this, you could install a water block on this very, very simple due to its design. All right, folks, so that is it. I'm glad you guys watched this video. For those people out there who are looking to build a dual boot computer or just looking for a totally cool car to upgrade their aging and fledging Mac Pro, because you know it's been years since we've seen the refresh, this can be a really, really awesome product for those people. So I hope you guys like this video. If so, make sure you guys hit that like button. We also, once again, want to iterate that we're having the 100K system going on that we're giving away, plus over on our website, www.techoftomorrow, we're also giving away another system. Make sure you guys check out all the links and the details below hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed peace out i'll see you guys later